What's up, everyone? Yes, it is not a morning live. It is actually an afternoon live. It is one o'clock. I'll sit and wait until we get some people entering the room. I just wanted to see who uh, who's by their cell phone or their laptop or their computer. Maybe nobody. Maybe nobody from anywhere around the world is on at this time. Because I know people from other countries are uh, are awake at this time. And if you're on second shift... You may be awake. I'm going to sit here and wait. It says there's zero people. According to my counter, zero people. So uh, we will just sit and wait. Let me see. Let me switch over here. Quick. Happy Holy Week to everybody. All right. It says I'm live. Let's. Oh, hang on. Yep. Yep. Oh, wow. Here we go. People are coming in now. All right, let me jump back over to here we go. Nine ball Ron. How you doing this? How you doing this afternoon? It is afternoon here. I don't know where it's at, where you where you're at. Um, but it is 1 p.m. Aiden Ramos. I'm here. How you doing, Aiden? Uh Aiden. Aiden, I, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh Salvador Martinez. How are you doing? Cabo Angeles City. If you're in Angeles City, well, it's afternoon. CJ Abroad, I know you're in Angeles City. How you doing, CJ? I guess everybody that is in Angeles City, we're in the Philippines now, probably inside an air condition because, guys, it gets warm here. Very warm. Deuce. Deuce is sixes. Hello. What's Wasach? Wasachim? Wasachim? Salt Lake City. How you doing? Artura, how you doing? You're back home, right? You're not here. I think Lut told me that you were back. Well, back in the States. WrestleMania event sucked. Don't tell me about it, CJ. Uh, I did watch, actually watch the highlights of uh, the first day. Uh, so I know who won those matches, but I got to watch the uh, WrestleMania, the second one. Um, Mikey. DFS, hey, Philly, how's the weather? Warm. Warm, muggy, uh, hot in the afternoon. You want to do everything you got to do in the morning. By the afternoon, you want to either be inside at home or uh, be in a mall, somewhere where it's air-conditioned because it's getting warm. Uh, last night, we did have a nice rainstorm, and I couldn't tell you the last time it rained. Couldn't tell you. But yesterday or last evening, about an hour, well, not an hour, maybe a half hour or so, just a nice rainstorm. And it was funny because the rainstorm ended about a half hour after the rainstorm ended. <laughs> we had a brownout. The brownout didn't last very long. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't tell you the last time it rained, but boy, it was nice. So, Brian, please. Please cover the Holy Week festive festivities on Thursday and Friday. Please cover the crucifixion and the brown guys. Uh, I, I probably will. Um, Cause I, I, I like going in and checking it out and they, they do it in the afternoon. So it does get hot, but you drink plenty of fluids. Um, matter of fact, I took CJ. It's been a year, CJ. Uh, we did that last year and I've covered it every year. Here is the weird thing. You guys hear me talk about it. The not suitable for most advertisers. That's one of them. That is one of them. I will get not suitable for most advertisers. Uh, you know, when they do the, you know, the back whip in and carry the cross, they, uh, they give you that. I think it's the, the blood, you know, maybe, uh, the fact that I slow it down in slow motion and, and, you know, put a little, little creativity to it. Um, but I think it's the blood thing. Uh, maybe if I do it, maybe I'll upload it in black and white. Maybe try to trick, uh, the old YouTuber people that be the guys that be maybe trick them. Um, yeah, I get it every time, every time. Um, and, and what gets me is 
That's part of the culture here. That's part of living here. Uh, they don't do that all over the Philippines. Certain areas, I know here they do. Um, but that's part of the culture here. We didn't say it's part of it. It's a part of the culture. It's part of the religion in certain areas. Uh, they even, you know, they, boom, they'll ram nails through the hair, arms or the, the hands and put them up on the cross. And uh, they do that also. Now, they didn't do it last year. But they've done that in the past. I don't know if this area does that anymore. Um, it just is. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I, I may, I may go up. Uh, the walking around to all the stations where they do the um, chanting scriptures and all that. I don't know if I'll do that. I've done it before. I've gone up to. What is that area up there? Bon Bon, Bon Bon, where you walk up the steps and all that. And I've done all that. Um, we'll see. We'll see what, what moves me. Uh, guys, tomorrow, good one's coming out. Real good one's coming out. I met up with Liza. Liza. Met up with her bef uh, a couple months ago and uh, ran into her today. And uh, she gave me a tour of her neighborhood. So that one's coming up. That's a pretty good one. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, yo, Philly, greets from Holland, Holland, greets to you, Peter D. Race, Vries. I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm butchering name. Uh, Otoro says, I will arrive on Thursday. Have a safe, have a safe trip. It's raining. It's been raining a ton here in California. Loads of snow in the mountains. You know, I'd always said about snow, that would be great for one day here in the Philippines. I would love it, Mikey, it, and I would love it if it just snowed one day. Give us, I don't know, two feet of snow. Like, we all go to sleep, we all wake up to two feet of snow, and I think it would just be awesome. Like, the people to experience snow and to play in the snow, and, you know, it. It I think it would be neat. For the people here to experience that. And then the next day we wake up, boom, back to 80 degrees, 90 degrees, and sunny. Um, but that would be fun. Coming to Angeles City, February 2024. Uh, got a condo Airbnb at Candy Palace. Is it a good location? Yeah, uh, it's nice back in there. You're you're walking distance up to Fields Avenue, Walking Street. Um it is very nice back in there. The rooftops are nice that they have there. They have swimming pools there. Um, the restaurant's good there. Really nice location. I would, though, recommend, and I tell everybody, um, if you're going to walk during the day, you know, always keep an eye out of your surroundings. Uh, but and I tell people all the time, and some people, they just, I don't know why, if you're going to leave Walking Street, the Fields Avenue at night, get a trike. Take a trike back to the condos, any of your condos, candies, uh, you name it. Take a trike because you might walk it 100 times, but it could always be that one time where you got them gangsters that might jump you and try to take your money or try to take your phone. Always. Always take a trike just just to be safe. Um, but yeah, nice, nice, nice area. I mean, you figure people are going to go up on the Fields Avenue, Walking Street, go into the clubs, drink a lot, spend hundreds of dollars. And you can do it. Spend hundreds of dollars, U.S. dollars, and then too cheap to take a trike back for like a buck. And then on the way back, get jumped or something, you know. Um, but yeah, nice place to stay. I, matter of fact, I know people that are living the condos and uh, they like it. They do. Todd M. Good AM morning in the U S Brian. I hope you are well, we are doing well. Hope you guys, and I hope you are doing well back in the States. Uh, Mikey, any visa hacks for an American that's not over 50 yet. Can I just hope, hop around Southeast Asia doing visa runs. Um, you come here to the Philippines, you just keep extending. 
But before you get here, make sure you have an ongoing flight. Uh, guys will come here. They'll get a cheap ongoing flight to Thailand, Singapore, whatever. Um, it just shows that you're going to be leaving the country after your, what is it, 30 days. I'm not even sure what they give you anymore. Um, I don't want to give you false information. Other people do that. Um, but once you're here, you can keep extending and extending and extending. Uh, I think it's up to three years. Uh, and then you have to leave the country after three years, and then boom, you can start it all over. Um, I'm not up to date on visas in other countries, Thailand, Malaysia, Vietnam. I, that's not my thing. Um, so I, I really can't help you out on that. Um, it just, so I, I don't know what to tell you when it comes to other countries. I can only tell you what they do here in the Philippines. Um, but yeah, you can keep extending. People do it all the time. Are the clubs on Walkie Street open on a Holy Thursday and Good Friday? The clubs on Walking Street are open 365 days a year. They do not close. <laughs> it is. Now, you might have maybe this week, maybe like New Year's, Christmas. A lot of the girls may go back to their province. Um, some will just stay here. Uh, so some of the clubs won't be as full, but they're open. I'm trying to think. I know of at least one that's open 24-7, 365 days a year. What is that club? What is that club? Look, Voodoo? 24-7? Is it Voodoo or is it different? Voodoo. Voodoo. If I'm not mistaken. 24-7. Any time of the day you walk by there, any time of the night you walk by there, they're open. Matter of fact, when Lut and I first came over to permanently move over here, your time's all off, your schedule's all off, your body's all off. And I can remember we started, you know, we, we were hitting some clubs and drinking and stuff, and the clubs would close. We walked across over to the Voodoo as the sun was coming up because your timing's all off. It's funny because you can always... You always catch guys and even subscribers of mine at stop. You can tell when they get, say, into Clark or Manila at like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Their timing's all off. Their sleep schedule's all off. And you'll catch them in the morning. Hey, Philly, how you doing? And you can tell they've been drinking from the second they landed here and got here. Um, and I always say, uh, in a couple of days, your body will crash. Uh, but yeah, there's always one going to be open 24 seven and yes, they're open year round. So where are we at? Uh, Mr. Quackers, welcome to the chat. I don't know when I lived in DC, the Arabs who had, had never seen snow did not respond. Well, they would immediately stop their cars on the road and take off walking traffic jam every time yeah i would imagine it'd be a massive traffic jam here and you i think it would be fun because you would have people on trikes and it was not a motorbike because you'll hurt yourself there were people in trikes and stuff trying to wheel their way around in the snow i think it would be awesome i think it would be awesome where are we at here uh ever uh, Aguiar Everlyn exploring Tokyo and Yokohama TV. Well, it's been a while watching your YouTube channel and you look so younger than before when you're more looking younger now and healthy. Anyway, it's good to see you, Mr. Philly. Thanks for stopping in. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've said it before. You can get talking about healthy. When you get here, it is very easy to be unhealthy, very easy. You figure you're slowing down, you're getting older, you're retired here, you're not working every day. You know, you can sit here and pound down food, pound down food and sugars and starches and, you know, street food. You can easily get, if you're not already when you get here, 
very easily get morbidly obese. You have to watch what you eat. Um, I'll tell you a guy who, and he doesn't mind me talking about him, and I know him, personally know him, met him and everything. Big old, big Justin, Critter Hunter. You know, he got here and, he, you know, he put on some weight. He was a big guy anyways, you know, but he stayed active. He scuba dives, he gets out. He doesn't just sit in his box, you know, like some people do, sit in a box and just constantly eat and eat and eat. And don't go out and don't do anything. You know, they never even left the area they live or they never left two city or radius of where they live. Um, this guy was out and he was always scuba diving. He's always active. And then one day, a couple of going on um, close to a year now, he said, you know what? I'm going to lose weight. I'm not going to come up with excuses of why I'm big and overweight. I'm going to make it happen. And he made it happen. And the guy has lost, I don't know how much weight. I think he's maybe near a hundred, a hundred pounds. He, in his mind, just didn't say I'm losing weight. He went out and he did it. So it's easy to do here. You can get really unhealthy here real quick and you'll see filipinos it's crazy like we've gone into luke fu luke fu our favorite chinese place right chinese yeah chinese <laughs> i'm clearing it with lit the boss and uh you can sit there and you can see like two filipinos and like they're tiny and they'll get huge plates of food and they eat and eat and eat and they'll sit there and they'll talk and eat some more and I'm like wow where do they put it all like, I don't know, like Filipinos metabolism is just unbelievable. Um, but then you'll get, and, and I, I say it and, and I've said it before, but, uh, please don't get upset. Um, they get the little rice pouches. I call them little rice pouch bellies. <laughs> you know what I mean? Little rice pouch bellies. Uh, but yeah, I don't know where they do it, but yes, you can definitely, pack on the weight. And, and another thing, if, if you arrive here and you're sick, you know, and your health just will, con, you know, get worse and worse. Uh, so you got to watch that too. I always said, if you, uh, if you got real bad health issues, you know, I guess, unless you got tons of money to where money's not an object, you don't, you know, you can go to hospitals and you can get this done again. I've, uh, I've always said, be careful moving here. Uh, there, there might be other people out there that love to give out false information about this kind of stuff. And, and I do. I feel bad. I do feel bad for some of the newer expats that are listening to people whose ink is not even dry. And I've said this before. Anything under five years, your ink is not dry. And those that sit there and say, oh, my ink is dry. Well, you spent a whole year in, you know, a lockup here you know, you know, where we couldn't go anything. So now you got one year under your belt and you're an expert. And, and I feel bad for people that are actually taking the advice of these people. Um, but to each their own, right? Uh, I just don't want to see people come here and, and then, uh, well, so-and-so told me that, you know, we, I could do this and we didn't need this and you only needed this. And then they get here and they're disappointed because they've, what they've done is, they listen to somebody that they want to hear what will fit their needs. You know what I mean? I got, I got 1200 bucks. Can I come to the Philippines? Well, those that have been here a while say, no, you need more. Can it be done? Yes, it can be done. But they found one person that is telling them, yes, you can do it. Yes, you can do it. And they'll believe that one person over others that give better advice. But to each their own, to each their own. All right, check it out. See here? One here. One here. People always say, why you wear your sunglasses inside? You see that and that. Those are what's called Elgato lighting systems. I have them here set up on my desk here. And um, they're bright. They're bright. Screen's bright. So, yes, I wear my sunglasses inside. Oh, where are we at? I'm rambling and uh, expat future wants to know, is your license surrendered for a Philippines license? Good question. Um, my license, 
back in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania has expired. Now, when I went back to the States, I looked online and everything, and it was basically saying the same thing in Pennsylvania that happens here in the Philippines. When you get to the Philippines, you can drive on your United States driver's license as long as it's good. It can't be expired. So my Pennsylvania driver's license expired a couple of years ago. However, I do have a Philippine driver's license and it's up to date and it's current. Um, but that's, that's what I use here. When I went back to the States, that's what I used back in the States. And I was hoping the whole time, hope I don't get stopped. Hope I don't get stopped because flip the coin. Hopefully the officer knows the law, but from what I was reading in Pennsylvania, it's good. I mean, you got to think about say people that come from other countries to the United States, England, Germany, France, wherever to visit. And they get a rental car from say like Hertz rental car. All right. Well, they don't have a United States license. They have their license from their country. So you figure people do that, right? So yes, I'm, I don't have it. I have, I have it here. Uh, I got it back in 2012 when all you had to do is after you got your I card, your 90 day card, um, you can extend your visa here. After 90 days, you got to get an I card. I think it's called an I card. It, it, I think it's, I, I call it an I card. And then from there, you were allowed to go into the LTO here and say, here's my I card. I'm here. Here's my current out of country license that is still valid. And all I had to do was fill some paperwork out, pay a little bit, sit down, take a picture. Uh, whatever endorsements I had on my Pennsylvania driver's license, they gave me that endorsement here in the Philippines, but things have changed. Things have changed since then. That was 2012. Um, but yeah, like I said, when you get here, you have 90 days, you have 90 days on your driver's license from say the States. And here's the funny thing. The only way they're going to know if you've expired your 90 days is if they look at your passport to find out how long you've been in here. Uh, but yeah, that's how that works. And like I said, could have changed by now. Things change every day. So. And I love a good old rumpity pump, rumpy pumpy. Ryan, I did the opposite. I lost like 80 pounds while there for two years. I came home looking unhealthy, but I gained 20 back and I'm happy. Anthony, I, I was the same way. When I got here, I was like 190, 195. And this has always happened to me every time I would come to the Philippines. All right. I would lose weight in six months. I would drop 10 to 15 pounds. What do I contribute that to? the oversized food back in the States, you know, in the States, you sit down for a meal. All right. And, uh, you're going to say you get a steak dinner, steak dinner comes with a salad. You're going to get a nice big salad. You're going to get some rolls. You're going to get some butter. You're going to get some green beans or vegetables. You're going to get some kind of potato. You're going to get a big massive steak. And you might even get a dessert with that. Here, the salad would be extra. The bread would be extra. Not all places, but a lot of places. Uh, the desserts, everything is extra. And your Western style foods are on a smaller scale. But I was the same way. I, I, I lost that weight when I got here. But I've seen people come here big and continue to keep even getting bigger. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, yeah, I was the same way. I only eat because I have to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where are we? Michael. Michael says, hey, Philly. Chill Mike here. Maybe you remember me, but I moved here looking forward to see to see you live. I'm I'm good with faces, Michael. Um, if you were standing in front of me right now and I looked up, but yep, I remember you. I'm good with faces. Uh, like I've said in the past, I mean, I made 
literally meet subscribers every day uh, and faces is what I recognize. Um, I felt bad. I met a, a subscriber when I did my April's Fools joke. Uh, I was sitting there talking with you know, Chubbs and you know doing the whole thing and subscriber walked up and he introduced himself and I shook his hand and I felt bad because it was like, I felt bad because it was like I blew him off because of what I was doing, you know, hiding the camera and everything. Uh, and then he actually walked, walked away uh, while I was still doing that. But I, I felt bad. Um, if you're watching this, I, I didn't mean to blow you off. And I think you did leave me a comment saying that you seen, you know, after you watched the video, you know what I was doing. Um, I don't, I don't want, I, I just didn't, I felt bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I will talk to people. I will talk to subscribers. I will, you know, say hello. Um, but yeah. <coughs> Is it worth is it worth it to hire a agencies to do your visa extension? It's up to you. It's really up to the individual. Um, I always say if, if you're if you're coming here and you're retired, um, you have nothing to do. But a lot of people, it's just simple and it's easy to have somebody else do it. You know, you go down there, give your passport. Um, pay them and let them take care of it. And then you show back, you show back up a day or two or whatever and pay for it. And boom, away you go. It's, it's up to you. It's convenient. If you have an agency, do it. Um, it's not hard to do it yourself. You go down to Marky mall, uh, the BI is down there. Everything's down there. If you have questions, they have officers there that will help you out. Um, you might have to wait a little bit, I don't know the process because I haven't had to do it in so many years, but you know, I'm sure there's paperwork to fill out. I'm sure there's a process you have to follow. Um, but it's up to you. And if you have to wait, say I've heard people say I had to wait an hour or two till they got my paperwork done and my passport stamp get right over to the mall. I mean, shoot right into the mall, walk around the mall, grab something to eat, do some window shopping. Um, it's all up to, what do you want to do? I mean, it's convenient and there are a lot of agencies here that'll do it for you. Or do you want to just do it yourself? It's up to the person. I guess me, if you're retired, what, what hurry, you know, what, what, what is your hurry, right? <laughs> but it's up to the person. Ah, oh, wait, you wear your sunglasses because when you're as cool as you are, the sun shines on you 24 hours a day. You hear that, Lut? Hear that? He says, you wear your sunglasses because when you're as cool as you are, the sun shines on you 24 hours a day. Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. How long have we been going on here? 28 minutes. 28 minutes. We're going on 28 minutes. Guys, I don't do real long lives. Um, not my thing. Uh, it's not because I have nothing to really, you know, talk about. It's just, it's not my thing. People will turn around. They'll rewatch this live and I just can't three hours, four hours, um, you know, and I've noticed those that do three hours lives three, four, five times a week, it's the same old thing, same old thing. They'll come up with a topic and it's the same old thing. Eight minutes in the one, not the other. It's just bitching about expats, talking about expats, bitching about YouTubers, crying about this, whining about this. Three hours, three hours of crying and whining. You're not going to get that here. What, what you get on my channel is everyday life, where I go, things I do, people I see, getting out, walking around. You guys see, I mean, we've gone vacations. We've gone out to eat. We've gone here. We've gone there. We scuba dive. Seven years, going on seven years. Can you imagine for seven years if I just sat in this room, this box? And didn't go anywhere. 
except for say, say I would go from Angeli City to like Dao. Wow, I jumped over to Dao. That's all I did. And that's all I talked about. It'd be boring. But no, I'm not a channel that, you know, three, four times a week, a live stream, three hours, and just here complaining and whining and crying about the Philippines and bitching about this and bitching about that. Wrong channel. You get it all. Any successful channel will get out and create content, right? Not get content off of YouTube or get content off of other YouTubers. And I find it funny. The hypocrites. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the hypocrisy of some people. Do a, do a do a live stream and talk about stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Yet they're all over everybody's lane. They're all over everybody's YouTube channel. Always talking about people's YouTube channels. Always talking about expats. Hypocrisy. I find it hypocrisy. But no, guys, you're not going to get three hours of whining and crying. If you want that, I can give you a channel. Well, no, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even, uh, it, I wouldn't even, uh, you know, how would you even say it? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want you, your ears to hear the things <laughs> that I've heard. <laughs> yeah. All right. Where are we at? I'll see you in the Philippines. Hope you are well. Thank you. I'll see you in the Philippines. I hope you are well. If you're in the Philippines, I would imagine I'll see in the Philippines that, uh, that you're in the Philippines. Uh, he says, Douglas Mack, I'm currently on my second tourist visa extension after my 30 days upon arrival and 29 day extension. I was told the BOI doesn't stamp passports or extensions anymore. Is that true? I, Douglas, I'm, I'm not going to give you false information. I can send you over to channel that it will give you three hours of false information. Um, I'm not going to give you false information. Um, if that's true, I was told the BOI doesn't stand passport for extensions anymore. I don't know. That's the first I've heard of it. I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to tell you yes or no. Uh, the only thing I could say is, or the, the Bureau of Immigration and ask them. <coughs> but I've not heard of that. And I'm not going to tell you yes. And I'm not going to tell you no. Um, sometimes I guess you're just going to have to do your own research and find out. But I have not heard of that. Uh, Richie Rich says, Philly, I will be there in two weeks. I need to get a picture with you and Adrian. Come on up, Richie Rich. You know where we're at. Um, usually there. Meet Chubbs. CJ will show up. Sometimes Philo shows up in the morning. A little show up you know, for maybe a half hour, 45 minutes. You know, talk, hang out, shoot the BS with everybody. Um, yes. And Adrian will sell you a T-shirt and a mug. If you want the Philly and the Philippines mug, you come on up there. Adrian's got them for sale. And I guarantee you, it will be. This is my this is my uh, sell pitch, my selling pitch. It will be the best cup of coffee you have ever had in your life. <laughs> Come on up. Come on up and we'll go. We'll do some features. We'll do some features. Richie Rich, thank you for the super chat. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, Nomad Mike's. Have you noticed an influx of expats since the passport bro thing has started? Uh, I've got some things to settle stateside than heading out in September. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. And people said, oh, you're wrong. But I say, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Passport bros is just another fancier word for a sex pad. Could I be right? Could I be wrong? I don't know. Um, I never really looked into the passport bro things. You know, somebody said, well, the passport bros, they're coming over here because 
they see the option that they have back in the States and, you know, the women's this and please women don't get mad at me. Uh, you know, the women's right movements and this and that, I don't, I don't follow all that. So they're looking for women overseas because they look at the options available back in the States, older women, heavyweight, obese, um, but they work, they're independent. I don't know the whole movement of that. Um, do I see it? I don't know. I mean, you got to figure most of the guys that are coming here on holiday vacation to Angley City, not coming for the beautiful beach here. They're coming here to hang out and party, have a good time. Um, so I don't know anything or know too much even about the passport bro movement. Um, but to each their own, right? Blogging a dead horse just did a three hours, but I think he was stoned. <laughs> uh, where are we at here? Ed Lippet. Ed Lippet's in the house. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Douglas MacArthur says, I had a one hour wait after submitting my extension paperwork. Yeah, so if you did it here, uh, down at Marquee Mall, an hour, you know, time it to where I don't know if I would tell you to time it to around lunchtime because who knows? You know, people go on lunch break all the time. We're shutting down the BI for an hour for lunch break. They always take a one hour lunch break. So I would say get there. I don't know. I don't know, get in the morning, you know, or get in the afternoon, but you can always go into the mall, you know, and grab something to eat and do some window shopping. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, one hour wait, that ain't bad. I haven't, I haven't done it for so long because I'm a 13, a visa holder focus in Asia. Listen, buddy, you stay in your lane, buddy. You come into my lane. So I have to say to you, JR. <laughs> uh, Tim. Good afternoon, Tim. How are you doing? Uh, Rob Captain. Hey, Brian. How's it going? The Terminator live blogs are great. Just can't catch you on. Same time because of my shift work. Well, thank you for stopping in and uh, saying hello. Like I said, this is 1.38. <clears throat> I always go in the morning, and a lot of people here in the Philippines will <coughs> go in the morning. They'll do live shows in the morning because if I do it at 8 in the morning here, it'll be 8 p.m. back on the East Coast. I figure, let me jump on here at like one o'clock. Let me see if anybody is even interested. It says there's 124 people in the room. I don't know how many thumbs up we have, uh, but 123. So, ah, uh, Ricky, you didn't miss much. You know, just me rambling on. Okay, so you're in Australia with me. Sorry, guys, I'm like way behind. Waiting on some Biggie's pizza deliveries from lunch. Brian's favorite in Angley's. It Biggie's pizza is good. Don't get me wrong, Jr. Biggie's pizza is good. It, to me, it's just too small. You know, three bites and I'm to the crust. It is good. Biggie's is good. Um, and for the price too. I mean, you go up to sixty nine Rock Bar, their pizza is good, but you're paying a big. You're paying a big price for that. Now, Biggie's is good. That's for sure. <laughs> ah, where are we at, guys? I'm like really way behind here. Matthew Allen, thank you for the super chat. Uh, you really got me on the April Fools. I'll be back in AC April 25th. Hope to see you out and about. Great channel. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you for the super chat. Um, I even had... I even had a couple of YouTubers. Uh, I didn't think Chubbs was one of them. So yeah, I got some emails from people saying that 
He ruined, they, they said, Chubbs, you ruined it. And other people ruined it to where you can't film on Walking Street no more. But Chubbs, no, it, I can tell who watched the whole video through and who didn't watch the whole video, just by the comments. <laughs> uh, yeah. I can tell just by the comments. Just waiting for Holy Week to start with the loudspeakers and the Bible verses. Does that start today or Tuesday, Lut? Does that start today or Tuesday? The I don't know. I'd, I'll go out and I'll find out. Uh, like I said in, earlier in the video, I didn't. I don't know if I'm going to cover all that. Lucas Musser, how you doing, Luke? There were some winning comments in there. How you doing, Luke? Lucas Musser is in the house. Look, you want to come and say hello? Come on over here and say hello. Look, let's resting on the couch. Oh, yeah. Oh, she has to hit the CR first. Western style food would be more expensive in the Philippines. Yeah, you're right. Um, it is, definitely is. Um, speaking of like, uh, um, uh, budgets, budgets here, guys, when you come over to the Philippines, if you're on a budget, stick with that budget. Sometimes it's harder. Um, sometimes it's not, uh, one of the things I find people crying about certain people crying about is, you know, we have dogs. We have a cat, all right? If you're an animal lover coming over here, you're an animal lover. Yes, it's sad to see cats and dogs here, but you, you can't save the whole neighborhood. You know what I mean? You put a bowl of food out for one cat, 20 are going to eat. Now, your budget of X amount for like cat and dog food is going to go up. You know, you can't save every animal here, you know, and what I see too is they'll take in a cat and then a second one, then a third one or a dog and a third and a fourth. And next thing you know, you've got a cat full of house. You've got a cat house, right? You got a cat house. And next thing you know, well, your cat's breeding with the other cat that you brought in to feed. And now you got kittens and you can't take care of the cats you have. You can't afford to feed them. And now you're having more kittens. Guys, there's nothing wrong with being an animal lover, but God, you got to watch that because you know, we feed our animals rice and, and like tuna and chicken. Like we don't go out and specially buy dog food and cat food because it can get expensive. Oh, yeah. But you have to watch that. No, like, actually, it's, 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 uh, no, uh, it's, uh, it's cheaper the dog food. Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. I know we were muted there for a while. Sorry. Um, However, my dog and my cats are not used to it. Right. So I spoiled them. That's right. Like, and then I said, you know, if, you, if you're going to take in animals, be a responsible pet owner. Hillbilly in Asia, thank you for the super chat. Be a responsible pet, mm. pet owner. Uh, pet dogs or cats, spaded or neutered. There's a free one in City Hall, actually. Yeah. You can go there. However, it's different between male and female. Because female, yeah, you spend a lot. Yeah, we, we took. I spend like almost like. 200 bucks on oh, yeah, like, on uh, winning, winning. Uh, Mama Earl, Mommy. female. Mommy. Um, she did have kittens, and that was okay with us, and we managed to get rid of the kittens. I ran one over by accident. Um, but we managed to get rid of them, and then after a while, I'm like, look, nope, let's go get her fixed. She has experience of being a mama. So, uh, but yeah, and all our dogs except for Bachoy, because he don't even know how to use it. <laughs> don't be like that. They were all fixed. You know, when we picked up Rocky, he wasn't fixed, but they made an appointment oh, and yeah, had him yeah. fixed, you know. But you got to be a responsible pet owner, you know, because they can eat you out of house and home. And if you 
cry about not having money. And well, personally, I'm eating. I'll eat before an animal eats to live. I get lipid. I feed my pig special pig food. Yeah, because you're probably taking them to the market and you're going to get a great price for them. And you want to sell a good quality meat, good, good pig meat. Ed, come on up here, Ed. Bring one of your pigs and we're going to have a, a leech on bad boy party. No. <laughs> right. Dogs eat anything you give them. Same way with Mama Earl. You know, you can go get the cheapest rice you can find. All right. Go get some sardine can, cans of sardines. All right. Oy. Cut them up, mix them in there. Go get some tilapia fish. And we, even Mama Earl, she, if that, we, that one there, I will disagree. Because you know what? If you buy dog food, it's more cheaper, actually. But if you sustain candy, eat twice a day. You, If you're going to, uh, you buy that one. Yeah. Uh, I spoiled my dog and cat, so I spend a little bit more than Yeah, but if you've got, buy. say, five cats or three dogs or ten dogs, it's cheaper. It's not more. Is it more expensive getting the dog food or rice and and cooking rice? It's and, more expensive when you get like a rice and chicken fresh than actually dog food. Honestly, it is. Yeah, I always thought it was cheap. No, no, it's more. I uh, know, but as I said, uh, as uh, maybe if you bought like a cheapest quality of dog food right. and like cat food, cheap, cheap yeah, quality, cheap, cheap, right, cheap. Right. Yeah, but it's. I uh, know my my dog is more expensive. Right. To uh, no, I I guess we just spoil them. Yeah, I spoiled them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I spoiled them. Oh. All right, look, you can handle it. Say, say hello. Yes, where should I start over That's here? Good morning, Brian. Oh, wow, it's morning from Francis P. Good morning, Brian and Lot from... Here. It's afternoon over here. Uh, Vancouver, Canada. My dog oh, will I not eat anything. What? Coco is... Uh, All right. Are you saying okay now? It. We're good. Oh, we're yeah. good now. Okay. Yeah. I, my dog. I I tried to feed them many times with the dog food, but uh, they always seems like declining all the time. They just pick the things that you put in the dog food, and then they left most of the dog food. So I uh, I stopped doing it. But I spoiled my dog too much. I know that. <laughs> Even Mommy Earl know that so or one of these days, you know. You know, I, I don't like to uh <clears throat> what I do is I don't like to because I am an, an animal lover, but I can't support them all. You I can't help them all. So what I do is when we eat like breakfast and dinner and we we'll have leftover like fish or we have leftover meat after dinner, I and the rice that we have leftover rice, I did that. And also, like, bring it together. And then I put outside or there's a dog on the street. And then I give them food because there's one I was feeding all the time. Because every time I, I'm walking, he always seems to follow me. So that's the one I do. So I don't need to uh, throw any food. And, um, you know, wasting food is not a good idea. I keep two dogs, Max, love chicken or sardines. Yeah. They don't eat, I uh, know. I don't... Uh, Mommy are eat sardines. My dog, I don't know. I don't really feed them sardines. Century tuna, I feed them. Matthew Hanson, hi everyone. Dogs, nothing special. They eat the leftover. Yeah, you have our point eat left it because in my hometown, that's what they always do. Uh, they they eat the leftover, and also over there, uh, I did do all the leftover and put everything to the other side and the end of the day i will feed them to ano uh, uh, dog street focus in asia quite quit being a cheap charlie pili feed your dogs remember to take care of your pets i heard that some somewhere before <laughs> gr is in the house vector coco lot Lot, lot, hi. Internal State Network Corporation. Hello from Indiana, USA. Okay, I think I'm done with this. I'm done over here with my, uh, no. uh, where's that? Reading over here. 
si Focus on Asia is the best bitch in Boracay. No man, Mike. That one that I can answer, even Brian. Because, you know, I've been to Boracay before. Uh, since the, uh, before they're not having rehabilitation for yet. So after the re rehabilitation, I never been again. But according to what I hear, it's very nice. Uh, but I don't know because I never been after the rehabilitation of that place. Yeah, we were, I was there before they. Before the rehabilitation. <coughs> when they, you know, did the rehabilitation. Like, I can't, I can't give you or do a video on, say, like the top seven, ten most beautiful beaches in the Philippines and give you an honest review or opinion mm -hmm. if I've never been there. Mm -hmm. Like, I can look at YouTube channels all day long and say, oh, yeah, this is the most beautiful beach, but I've never been there. So how can I give you an honest opinion on that? You never experienced it. I never experienced it. Um, Looking at YouTube videos on Boracay, Palawan, um, where else? Akron. Koron. You know, all those beautiful places. It's different when you're there. You can give an honest opinion. Like I can give you an honest opinion about Kawasing Falls. Been there. Mm. Beautiful. It's like postcard beautiful. I can give you an honest opinion on whale shark. When we went whale shark diving. Yeah. Um, I can give you an honest opinion on Shergao Island. I've been there. Um, I can give you an honest opinion on scuba diving in Porto Galera. Um, where else? I mean, we 100 islands. I've been there. I can give you honest opinions on the places I've been. When you've been there, you can give an honest opinion. When you watch YouTube, yeah, it's beautiful looking, but it's different than yeah. being there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's true. So, so, uh, what time is it? Oh, 51. We still got, still got 10 minutes, <laughs> 10 minutes of talking. Uh, love my honest opinion on the bus stop toilet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bus stop toilet. I can give you an honest opinion on that. Oh, you know, they has a new, a new bus right now, uh, going to Baguio. Their bus is very, I know, already a uh, modern. They have toilet in the bus. They they do? You, yeah. You have, USB. oh yeah, yeah. But it's quite expensive than if you're going just to go to buy by terminal by terminal. It's I think it's eight hundred pesos. Yeah. Uh Elmer J, I've heard this one. Hey Brian, a YouTuber named Sick Grandpa is doing a number on you. Do you know the guy? I don't like him, Brian. I've seen it. I I've seen it. If somebody puts something out about me, I people will send me emails and links and it. Yeah. I don't know. The I don't even have an honest opinion on him. He attacks everybody. Um, that's oh, he attacks everybody. That's that's his stick. That's his. That's the content. Yeah, that. No, oh, I think it's just jealous. Yeah. Well, I mean, it. It. You put him in the same category as I don't know those that give false information. You know, he's looking for attention. He's looking for somebody. Yeah. You know, that's that's just his thing. You know, some people do it just to do it to get a rise out of people. Some people do it just, just because to make them hyper. that's just what they do. I mean, <laughs> just to make them hungry. They can jump for me. They can jump to JR. They can jump to Bean snow critter hunter. They can just jump around. That's their thing. You know, they're trying to get a rise out of people and Hey, whatever teach his own, you know, that's what he wants to do. And that's what he wants to do. Oh yeah. Because you know what? You don't need to explain yourself. You know who you are. Right. Uh, nomadic Mike, do they sell chewing tobacco in the Philippines? Lots of ex-military. I would think so. I have seen it, but not like they do cigarettes. Like you might be able to find some of Lazada, you know, like snuff, you know, like, uh, skull Copenhagen, Levi Garrett. I have rarely have I ever seen it. I'd seen some tobacco chewing. My grandmother used to. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's rare. <laughs> but you you can find it. You might pay, you know, a lot of money for it. Like I said, I don't know. I don't I don't hunt for it. Uh Hibili and Asia says shoppy. Um but as far as like selling it at sorry, sorry, stores, I 
Uh, you don't no, see No, you don't that. sell in Sari Sari nah. stores. Even like cigars. No. Like, you know where I see cigars? Pues, you know where they sell them? Sari Sari store is very expensive. You know where I see cigars? SM. SM. Like at the SM department store. That's where I see cigars. And there, and I've seen them in different shops. Um, but yeah, don't see it very much here. I'm not, I must not be famous. Nobody attack me. Mm. <laughs> That's all right, Tim. <laughs> when you get, and I'm not saying fam like we're famous or anything, but the bigger you get, the more attack you attacks have. you get. You know, some people bring it on themselves. You know, you cannot please everyone. Just, you can't. Um, usually every day somebody's getting banned with a comment from my channel. Um, mm. Those that, you know, you run a channel, you're in charge of your channel in the comments. And, you know, you want to let people, you know, talk bad about you or bad about Lud or bad about whatever. You know, you run the channel. Um, I've seen it and heard it all. Um, they just get banned. A lot of times, uh, some of my comments will go to where I got to filter through and look at them. Um, if uh, somebody puts a comment with a link, a YouTube link, I remove it because I don't want to know what the link is about. Swearing, cursing, that automatically goes over to a separate uh, um review that I have to either accept it or not accept it. Um, so if you don't see your video, if you don't see your comment pop up, that might be a, a reason why I don't even have a channel and I get a few attacks on me. Ed, because you're an old timer, like, like us here, your ink is dry on your passport. Ed, you've been here a while. You've seen it. You've done it. You know what you're talking about. You know how to make a good pig. Ah, uh, yeah. Victor Coco, thank you for the super chat. Greatly appreciate it. Pinoy Sun's chewing tobacco. Never heard of that. Never heard of that Pinoy Sun chewing tobacco. Oh. I looked at Lazada and they have Stokers for 299 pesos, but not much else. Yeah, it. that's weird. I mean... It's not a big common thing here. Now you'll get like her, her grandmother, her grandmother makes her own leaves. Like she'll make her own leaves. And I don't know if there's a little funny stuff in those leaves, Ah, they know it's that. but she'll get, and she'll chew it and chew it. And wow. <laughs> yeah. She even, they even take those leaves and they'll take like paper and roll wow. a cigarette. That's old tradition. Yeah, like old tradition, like roll a cigarette with it and they'll uh, smoke no. it. And the roll in the yeah. you know, like a diario or like newspaper. Right. I think that's how she's doing it. Tim, you've been here 10 years. Your yeah. ink is dry. Maybe I'm wrong, but Ed, you tell me and Tim, five years. Five years is the number you want. And there's probably people that get mad at me, other YouTubers coming here or whatever. I know what I'm talking about. I'm under five years, Philly. Five years, I say. You got to be here five years. There's Luke. Luke knows too. Five years, and you kind of understand, you know, how things are. You know, they say if you last five years, you're gonna you're doing all right. Yeah, Luke, you've been here eleven years. There's a bet going on right now on somebody that five years they say it will be the max, and then they'll be gone. Because all they do is cry and bitch and moan about the place. Total 15. There you go, Ed. So, all right, guys. It is, uh, we got like uh, coming up on one hour. Like I said, one hour because people go back. 97 people in here. Thanks for joining. This is a weird hour, I know. Um, but yeah, one hour is good. People will come back and they'll watch this video again. And I can't drag somebody through three hours of pretty much the same thing over and over. You know what I mean? Talk about the same thing. Cry about the same thing. Bitch about the same thing for three hours. Five out, five live shows a week. You know, can't do that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that through anybody. Because she didn't say, I didn't right. Cause we have a life. Cause we have a life. We go out and actually do things. We don't, we don't live on the internet going through everybody else's YouTube channels and criticizing. And, you know, here's another one. 
Someone, somebody made a comment like we should be penalized because we make money off of YouTube. What? Isn't that the goal? Isn't that the goal of a YouTuber to, to build your channel, not beg people for money, but to build your channel to where people want to keep coming back. You, you, you put interesting things out. That's the goal. But wait, they said you should be penalized because you make money on YouTube. Crazy. Why? Jealousy. Some people does. Right. So, well, you know? some people are it's the blind leading the blind. So, yeah. Some people are very nosy. Right. Yeah. He likes to be nosy in other people's life, but they can't even figure it out how to be, I know, right. <laughs> how to take care of themselves. And like, it, it's like if the one person would just shut their mouth and let the owner of the channel run his channel, I think it'd be a lot better. And everybody says that. So with that being said, um, we, we will talk to you guys later. And thanks for stopping in and saying hello. I hope we have 101 people in here. I hope I have 101 thumbs up. Well, you didn't see your thumbs up. I can't see my thumbs up because uh, I'm not on the right page. So, all right, guys. Ah. Thanks for stopping in and stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's uh it's going to be a good video. So, all right, talk to you guys later.